On Sunday, March 19th, 2023, a 52-year-old employee suffered serious head injuries and nearly died while inspecting the infamous crash test roller coaster at the famous Ocean Beach Pleasure Park in South Shields in the United Kingdom. The victim was not identified, nor was his name mentioned by any media outlets due to the nature of British laws and privacy issues. Nevertheless, one can imagine the horror he went through. The shock his family is still living through because his condition was serious and it took weeks before he improved. Mind you, we still don't know his current health status. The park was cooperative from the beginning. However, there is something wrong in this story because according to some sources, the whole incident was preventable if the park had more strict rules for maintenance procedures. Stay tuned for all the details of the incidents that nearly ended a worker's life at Ocean Beach Pleasure Park in the UK after getting struck in the head by a roller coaster. Contrary to what people think, working at an amusement park can be dangerous and even deadly. Additionally, most theme parks don't pay all that much, and in many cases the workers are uninsured and are left in the cold in case they sustained injuries. The good news is that serious and deadly incidents involving theme park employees and patrons alike are not all that common, and most of the time the injuries are mild. However, giving such cases attention does help making such disasters avoidable, as parks invest more in safety measures and become more adherent to inspections and governmental recommendations. Here's something that might shock you. The amusement park sector combined with a business of travelling rides at fairs is quite profitable and massive. Globally, as many as one million people are employed in this huge and entertaining sector, Additionally, another quarter million people work in the supply chain associated with theme parks and rides manufacturing. However, as profitable and competitive as this sector is, most theme parks employees in rich and poor countries alike complain of low salaries. And what is even more disturbing is that maintenance workers and engineers often complain of a widespread and rather unexplained ignorance by theme parks and travelling ride owners on safety issues. In some of the cases, such as the ones we covered in previous videos, an injured or dead amusement park employee can end up being blamed for their demise. This is just sad, heartbreaking, because many of them have families and end up with massive medical bills. Let's now take a look at the quite recent incident at Ocean Beach Pleasure Park, which nearly killed an employee under mysterious circumstances. But first, Let's take a quick look at the park and the roller coaster involved in the incident. Ocean Beach Pleasure Park is a pleasant, nice place with plenty of amazing rides that suit every taste. It's mostly famous for having no admission fees and its insane laser force section which represents some serious fun for all ages. The park boasts over 40 rides and attractions arcades, game stores, and the notorious Laser Force, in addition to many food stores. One of the park's flagships is the Crash Test Roller Coaster, which has an intriguing history. Prior to arriving at Ocean Beach Pleasure Park, the Crash Test was at the AIA Great European Carnival in Hong Kong, which ran from December 21, 2017 to February 25, 2018. The crash test returns to the European Carnival from December 14, 2018 to February 17, 2019. Since then, it has been a high-demand fixture at Ocean Beach Pleasure Park, and there have been very few mild incidents involving it, until the recent one, which nearly killed a worker while inspecting it. The incidents took place just before noon on Sunday, March 19, 2023. The worker was doing his regular job of inspecting rides and literally did not see death coming his way when a crash test roller coaster carriage travelling fast hit him and damaged his head beyond repair. It was horrific. On that unfortunate morning, the 52-year-old worker woke up, made sure that his family was all set up for the day, grabbed his lunchbox and headed to the park to begin another day of inspecting, repairing and maintaining a wide range of rides. He was a part of a small but effective team, 
and didn't have any issues. He also never complained and was wholly dedicated to his job. The poor soul was barely making ends meet, and his salary was not all that good like most theme park workers out there, investing their hearts and souls and making rides at amusement parks as safe and secure for all of us. He was standing at the bottom of the crash test roller coaster inspecting the tracks, while another member of the maintenance team was ready to dispatch a test carriage. Things here got a little vague because we simply don't know what exactly happened. Normally, when a maintenance team is inspecting a ride, no test runs are conducted until a heads up via walkie-talkies is communicated to all maintenance workers as a safety measure. However, on that miserable and sad day, there was either an error in communication, a misunderstanding, or something worse that led the maintenance worker and the crash test roller coaster operator to dispatch a carriage without signaling the worker who was inspecting the tracks at the bottom of the ride. As you already know, roller coasters are fast, and unless a person standing on the tracks is aware that a train has been dispatched, there is literally no way to know that it is approaching until it's too late. This is a fact because in some of our previous videos we covered stories about how theme park workers and even patrons died in similar circumstances where they were standing on the ride's tracks at the bottom. In some of our previous videos we showed how patrons died while looking for lost objects such as their cell phones which fell off while taking the ride or died while crossing the tracks in no-go zones as they took shortcuts or workers died while performing inspection. Anyways, the worker was just doing his job when the carriage appeared out of nowhere like a bullet and struck him. The harsh impact caused him severe head injuries, but to his luck, some of the staff witnessed the incident and rushed to stop the bleeding. Soon, the park's emergency crews arrived and took over the scene while waiting for the arrival of the emergency crews. His injuries were so severe, a helicopter was dispatched. However, because it took too long to arrive, he was moved to the Royal Victoria Infirmary in Newcastle by Crown Ambulance. The emergency staff from the Northeast Ambulance Service, including a clinical team leader and a rapid response paramedic, did a great job in saving the worker's life. The doctors at the Royal Victoria Infirmary were shocked by the severity of his injuries, but performed a miracle and saved his life. Police were also present at the scene and cordoned the area around the incident site and also closing the roller coaster while investigators went to work. Some people initially thought that the worker died soon after arriving at the hospital. However, within a few hours, the hospital announced that he was alive but in critical condition in the intensive care unit on life support. Days later, his condition improved but was still serious. Up to the date of making this video, the investigation has not been concluded and is still ongoing. There have been no new reports or news about either the preliminary investigation results or the worker's health status. We do hope that he has recovered and is being compensated accordingly. Ocean Beach Management confirmed all the details of the incident but did not elaborate on why a test run was conducted on the roller coaster while a maintenance worker was working at ground level on the tracks. The ride owners and operators have been working closely with the health and safety executive and Northumbria police. The police have also been in contact with the UK's health and safety executive to help them to establish exactly what happened. Since the incident is recent, it is expected to take months before the final investigation results are announced. Have you been to Ocean Beach Pleasure Park recently? Do you have any updates about the incident? Do you know if the crash test roller coaster is operational or is it still closed? Please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified every time we upload a new video that will take you to the heart of the scenes and mysteries of some of the most terrifying incidents, accidents, disasters, and paranormal events from around the world.